Right, James, how pleased were you to be back in the starter lineup last week after what must have been a difficult spell for you? Yeah, it was nice to be to be back in the eleven. I think for any footballer, you want to play games as, as stupid as it sounds. Um, but yeah, and when you're out the side, it's a it's a difficult time. Um, but the main thing is that we that we got the three points and got the clean sheet and put in a, a solid performance to kind of turn around that's this sort of run of form that we've been on. Um, but yeah, for me, yeah, nice to be back in the side and nice to be contributing. And the run of form that we've been on, like you say, obviously to keep a clean sheet is brilliant. When the ball hits the post after a minute as well, do you kind of have like a wry smile to yourself? Oh, I know, yeah. Someone was looking down on me for that one. <coughs> but yeah, I think obviously the ball hits the post early on. But I think from then on, we, we were in control of the game. We, we go 2-0 up in the first half and then we, we put in a professional performance in the second half. They had a spell just after half time where we rode it out. But... For us, it's, it's three points and a clean sheet, but we want to back that up now this week and go back-to-back -back wins and, and yeah, really build some momentum for the, for the latter part of the season. As a senior goalkeeper with plenty of experience under your belt, were you able to offer Ellery any words of, of encouragement? I think it's always a difficult situation in the goalkeeping department because there's obviously only one spot and only one of you can play. Um, but you become close because you're training together every day. And look, Ellery's a fantastic keeper. He'll, he'll go on and have a great career, whether that's here, whether that's elsewhere. Um, but as a, as a professional, I think with both of us, it's, it's been a tough kind of few weeks. But the gaffer wanted to drive competition in the, in the goalkeeping department. And he's, he's certainly done that because, like I said, Ellery's come in and, and, and done really well and, and, and looks the part and has got all the makings of a, of a top goalkeeper. So... If you've got two, two lads fighting it out for the shirt and then even Ansi and, and Jed around the place, the, the goalkeeping department's pretty strong at the minute. It was a tricky game last weekend, two teams struggling for form and a difficult environment perhaps and obviously they've got their own issues with their manager. Different test coming up this weekend, another tricky game but against a team that is um, putting a bit of a decent run together. Yeah, they're, I think they're firmly cemented in, in the top six and Look, they're, they're a big side, came down from the Championship last year, so they'll be expected to, to bounce back up. But we're expecting a tough game. They, I think they beat Derby 4-1 last weekend, which is, is no mean feat. They're another a side that's in great form. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll show them respect, the same we do with, with any team. But we also have to go into it confident because in our stadium, when our fans get behind us and, and, the, and the ball's rolling at the mem, I think we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. So, so yeah, we, I think it's one we're looking forward to. I remember speaking to you actually after the 3 0 defeat at Oakwell earlier in the season. Have lessons been learned, do you think, from that game? I think so, yeah. We're a very different team to the one that got beat that night. Um, we were outclassed, outplayed, outplayed on the night by a good side. Um, but for us, we, we went on that good run, sort of October, November time, and it's given us that little bit of a cushion, that, <coughs> excuse me, that bit of like security. Um, but we're yeah, we're, we're still under no illusions. We've still got a lot of work to do this season and Saturday provides a good opportunity to, to yeah, go and see if we can mix it with one of the bigger boys in the league. Just finally, slightly away from topic, but you um, had a chance to meet up with David James, former England goalkeeper recently. What was that like? Yeah, it was good. I'd, I'd never met him before and he came in and had a good chat. We were talking sort of all things goalkeeping with the, the keepers out there and, and yeah, someone with, with his experience, played over 50 times for England, had a had an unbelievable career, so yeah, he had a, had some good insights for us, and yeah, it was nice to chat to him.